by Kyron Jones. The 6'5 junior forward from Bowling Green. And finally, Drew Lamont, the senior forward, standing at 6'8 from Plantation, Florida. I expect the Tigers are going to go deep into their bench today against Midway. This is a tough matchup, no doubt about it, but the Tigers have seen plenty of good teams so far this season, one of which is Division I Western Kentucky University. They played last week. They ended up tying them at the half and losing by 20 by the end of the game, but that doesn't tell the full story of the game. It was a lot closer than a 20-point game. Once again, everybody, welcome to Alumni Gym. I'm your commentation host, L.C. Newton, and we are just about to get underway. And here we go. Tip one by Midway. Kept in bounds. Pass around the horn. Rico Tate, working on Seth Johnson. Spins, jumper, rolls in. The friendly roll for the first two points of the game. Jaquay Wells taking it up the court. Dishes it to Drew. Back to Cam Brooks Harris. Crossing over, good screen. And blocked, good defense by Midway here early in the first quarter. And a tough layup by Donnie Miller for the deuce. Jaquay Wells brings it up the floor for the Tigers. Here comes Kyron Jones on the screen. Jaquay working. Navigating through the midway defense. Here's Drew Lamont on the post. Jumper in his face and scores. Drew Lamont with the contested jumper for two. The Eagles passing it around the horn, looking to get to inside. Tobias Thompson working on Drew Lamont. Will Van Hook dishes it inside. And it's gonna be a travel. Tigers ball. Jaquay Wales bringing it up the floor. A little hot potato with Kyron Jones. Back to Kyron. Stares down the three-pointer, decides not to shoot. Driving, penetrating, and blocked. Eagles ball. Will Van Hook takes up the floor for the Eagles. Setting up the offense. Here comes the screen. Rico drives. Blocked by Cam Brooks Harris. Off the glass. Here comes Seth Johnson with the head of steam. Back to Drew. Down low to Kyron Jones. Drew Lamont pulls with the defender in his face. He's fouled for the three-point free throw attempts. And that is not a good foul if you are Will Van Hook sending Drew Lamont to the line, the senior. Very poised and very experienced in this Georgetown Tigers offense. He's been a staple of the program and a consistent, reliable option throughout his years at Georgetown. Knocking down free throws here in Alumni Gym. Three for three. Oh, 
Here comes Donnie Miller, working on Jaquay Wells. Full court pressure by the Tigers. Not allowing them any room to breathe. Kyron Jones wants to travel, not gonna get it. Nick Keaton, out to Rico Tate. Rico back to Keaton for the three, no good. Rebounded by Cam Brooks Harris. Dished out to Drew Lamont. Backing down his defender. He's got a mismatch. Goes for the hook. Off the glass, and it's good. Buttery smooth from Drew Lamont. Taking his time. Working in the post. The Eagles working their way around the horn. Donnie Miller stares down Jaquay. Looking to get the inside position is Tobias Thompson. And here comes the fadeaway three, no good from Will Van Hook. And it's gonna be a shot clock violation. No, they're still going. And the ref calls it dead. And it's gonna be a foul on the Tigers, midway ball. Shot clock violation, mistake, excuse me. The horn went on inadvertently. Seth Johnson with the rebound. Drew Lamont to the corner. Cam Brooks Harris with the open lane, takes it in and blocked, but it's gonna be a foul. Two free throws coming up for Cam Brooks Harris. I love the fact that Cam Brooks Harris is being aggressive here against Midway. Not his great performance in the previous game, but looking to bounce back. Makes the first free throw. And something I love to see is after a tough game, when a player immediately gets back out there on the floor, Cam Brooks Harris was putting up shots after the game. And it's the only way to get better, you know, just flat out repetition. Goes one for two at the line. Rico Tate with a head of steam. Takes it all the way inside. Dishes to Donnie Miller. Tobias Thompson. Krishan Brown in the game. Donnie Miller setting up the offense. It's Krishan Brown for the three pointer. No good. Rebound, Kyron Jones. Drilling at the floor with the head of steam. And a lot of contact with no foul. Tiger's not happy about the no call. And the layup is good from Rico Tate. Jaquay Wales brings up the floor. Cam Brooks Harris working on the defense, dishes it inside. Picked up by Seth Johnson. Here's the floater and bounces off the rims. It's not going to go. And an easy layup for Seth Johnson. Kyron Jones got triple teamed there down to the post, and rightfully so, drawing all kinds of attention down low. Donnie Miller jacks up a three and no good. Seth Johnson rebound. Drew Lamont looking for a three pointer and no good. Kyron Jones, another good offensive board. Back to Drew, pulls again. This time it's true. Drew Lamont drains home a three-pointer. And the timeout is called by the Eagles here in the first half. Tigers lead 13-6. So far, a good offensive game from the Tigers. Taking the ball inside, dishing it to the outside for the three-pointers. They're playing a smart, fundamental game of basketball right now. 
and the Eagles finding trouble getting the ball in the hoop. But you got to give credit to that Georgetown defense stifling down low and not allowing the Eagles to get easy shots beyond the perimeter. Nick Keaton brings up the floor. The Tigers pressing, causing trouble. Seth Johnson hits the floor looking for a push off, push off and turnover by the Eagles. The Tigers defensively making it tough for the Eagles to get down the floor. Chris Briggs has to be happy about the start so far for the Tigers. Dish to Kyron Jones in the post. Back to Drew Lamont. Here comes Cam Brooks Harris for the jumper. Long two, fadeaway, and oh, he is not feeling good after that one. Smacks the floor, hopping on one foot. That is not a good sight for the Georgetown Tigers. Seems to be walking it off. That ankle not feeling good, but he's going to shoot some free throws. And a sigh of relief for the Georgetown Tigers. Cam Brooks is going to shoot the free throws, but calls for a sub. And makes them both, and here comes Tommy Thomas, the glue guy. Tommy Thomas, known for his effort on the defensive end and hustle. Scrappy player. Oh, and we got a wedgie. It's not often you see the ball pinned in between the glass and the rim, but first one of the year for the Tigers here against Midway. Jaquay Wales brings it up the floor, setting up the offense. Here comes the screen from Drew Lamont. Tommy Thomas crossing over. Working on his defender. Good screen by Kyron. Dished back to Kyron. Working down low. Looking for that hook shot. Dished back out to Jaquay. Shot clock winding down. Five, four, three. Here comes Seth Johnson with an easy layup right to the rack. Smart play by Seth Johnson for the deuce. And for the Midway Eagles, what a great defensive possession just to let up to the end of the shot clock. The Tigers not afraid to wind it down and get good, good shot selection down there, close to the rim. Johnny Miller dishes it to Keaton, back to Miller. Driving on Tommy Thomas. Spin move for the jumper, well contested and rebounded again by Seth Johnson. He's all over the board so far in the first half. Tommy Thomas, open three, pulls, no good. And a foul called a late whistle. On Tommy Thomas. Interesting. Offensive foul from Tommy Thomas. Donnie Miller is going to be selected to shoot the free throws for the Eagles. Just one free throw. Tigers lead 17-7 with 12 and a half to go. Robbie Henry bringing it up, sorry, Rico Tate bringing it up the floor. Nick Keaton dishes it to Donnie Miller. Good defense by the Tigers. And another foul called. This time on Tobias Thompson for the personal foul. Here comes Jaquay Wells, bringing it up the floor. Driving, dishes to Kyron. 
Driving again, this time to the cup. And off the glass, but no good for Tyron Jones. Eagles with a head of steam. And Donnie Miller lays it in. A tough layup with the contact. Seth Johnson brings it up the floor. And Rashad Bishop looking to check into the game. Johnson to Jaquay. Jaquay Wales driving and fouled. Here comes two free throws from, for Wales. The first foul for Treshawn Brown. And we'll be right back after this short break. And we're back. Here comes two free throws for Wales. The first one is true. Rashad Bishop ended the game. Coming off a really good game. And a huge monster poster dunk. Rashad Bishop looking to get a few more of those here against the Eagles. Here comes the full court pressure by the Tigers. Giving Midway problems. Getting the ball up the floor. Krishan Brown dishes to Donnie Miller. Miller working on Lamont. Crosses over. Krishan Brown steps back and shot clock violation. They don't even get a shot up. And if you're the Eagles, you have to be aware of the shot clock and at least put something up. That was an empty possession, but you have to credit the Tigers for the defense. Not allowing any easy buckets here in the first half. Wales, driving up the court, throws the lob to Bishop and throws it down. Rashad Bishop with a huge slam right on cue. Wow, an emphatic dunk by Rashad Bishop right out of the gate. And a beautiful lob as well from Jaquay Wales, right on the money. Rashad Bishop, he's a high, he's a high flyer, a skywalker if you will. Seth Johnson defensively not allowing any good shots. Foul called on Rashad Bishop. And defensively, this Tigers crew is working effort. They are working on both ends of the floor. But the effort defensively is there. There's no doubt about it. Finally, the Midway Eagles get an open look and knock down the jumper. Jabrion spikes into the game for the Tigers. Brings the ball up the floor, seeing his first few minutes of the game so far. Dish to Drew Lamont. Working on Donnie Miller. Back to Jabrion. 
Tommy Thomas driving and lays it in for the two. And Jabrian Spikes forces the turnover. The Tigers are rolling defensively. And this Tigers crowd is loving it. Jabrian Sprikes setting up the offense. This is the Drew Lamont. He's got a mismatch. Backing down his defender. Pulls up for the floater and air ball. Nothing but net, but not in the hole. And the three-pointer is good from Deshaun White. Deshaun knocks down the long-range three. Jabrian Spikes to Drew Lamont. Back to Seth Johnson. Looking for Rashad down low and turnover by Tommy Thomas. Uncharacteristic to say the least. Rayshawn driving to the cup and no good. Rebound Tigers. Rashad with the head of steam and turns it over. Looking for Seth Johnson. Rico Tate taking it up the floor, slowing down the possession. Setting up the offense. Almost turns it over, gets the ball back. Deshaun White with another three, in and out. Johnson takes it up the floor. Finds Tommy Thomas in the corner, driving baseline, and the reverse layup is good. Tommy Thomas. Getting it done on the inside. And here comes the pressure from the Tigers. Playing a bit of zone defense. And stepped out of bounds. Tiger ball. And here comes Kyron Jones into the game as well as Will Van Hook for the Eagles. Jabrion Spikes brings it up the floor for the Tigers, setting up the offense. Working on his defender. Kyron Jones to Bishop. Rashad Bishop misses the, the layup. And here comes Midway. Will Van Hook. Out to Dejon White, and the three-pointer is true. Deshaun White's got a pair of threes. <laughs> Jabrion Spikes. Back to Tommy Thomas, back to Johnson. And here comes Jones, baseline, with the easy deuce, and they're gonna call a push off offensive foul. Kyron Jones, not happy about that one, but nonetheless, it's gonna be Eagles ball. And Chad Omer into the game for the Tigers. Number 12 in orange, the sophomore guard. This time it's Ridge Hall for the reverse layup. The backdoor cut leads to the two point possession. Here comes J. Brown Spikes. Working on a double team. Back to Spikes. Here comes the jumper, and a little strong. Great rebound by Rashad Bishop. Back out to Johnson, puts up a three, and a little strong on that one, too. Another offensive board, this time by Jones. Great use of the pump fake, and another offensive rebound. Oh my goodness, the Tigers unable to put the ball in the cup, regardless of the multiple chances.
Will Van Hook to Ridge Hall. And rebounded by Jones. Kyron Jones dissecting. Oh, no. A foul by Deshaun White. I believe he held Bishop a little bit there while Bishop was trying to get the inside position. And Jaquay Wales is going to check into the game. Out goes Johnson with some solid minutes. Bishop has the ball. Working on a mismatch, spins and puts the ball in the cup off the glass. Rashad Bishop with a nice two. And a tough finish on the other end. Great response by the Eagles. Deshaun White with a tough layup. Here comes Spikes. And blocked. Ridge Hall sends it out of bounds. The 6'6 senior, Ridge Hall, with the timely block. And the Eagles are only down six. And with just five minutes and 35 seconds to go in the first half, a relatively low scoring first half, full of defense on both ends of the floor, more so for the Tigers, just swarming defensively. Head coach for the Tigers, Chris Briggs in his 12th season. We've talked about the consistency from the coaching standpoint for this Tigers organization. And that has to help the fluidity of the program. No doubt. Jaquay Wales to inbound the ball. Finds Kyron Jones. Back to Spikes. Setting up the offense. Back to Jones in the corner. The jumper's no good. Deshaun White driving with the head of steam. Donovan Morris with his first few minutes of the game. Number 14 in blue, nearly turns it over. And, oh my goodness. Rashad Bishop slams it away. The huge block. The Eagles wanted a goaltend. They're not going to get it. Wales pulls up for three. And it's true. Nothing but net. Jaquay Wales from downtown. Knocking down the three-pointer. And the referees are talking to the scorer's table. I'm wondering if they're going to end up telling them to take two points They're definitely talking about that near goaltend. And they are going to give them the goaltend. So it was not a clean block, even though it looked like it from Rashad Bishop. They're going to give Midway two points. Great effort from Rashad Bishop, nonetheless. So great at producing those highlight plays. 
nearly a monster block on that one. Here comes Rico Tate. And the charge is drawn. The fan favorite, Chad Omer, draws the charge for the Tigers. Chad Omer proving he's not just a shooter. Getting it done on the defensive end. Wales driving. Back to Jones. Then the spikes. Wales again. Here comes Omer. Back to Spikes. Dish it to Jones for the reverse layup. And Kyron Jones gets the deuce. Deshaun White spins into a double team. And Spikes forces the jump ball. The Tigers playing some menacing defense. And it looks like Cam Brooks Harris has his shoe off and his ankle taped. Not a great sign for the Tigers. Hope all is well with him. He'll likely be done for the game. You hate to see it for Cam Brooks Harris. A huge aspect of this team, no doubt, on both ends of the floor. The transfer from Marshall University. They're gonna need him back. Here comes Wales, crossing over, loses his defender, puts him on skates, showing off the dribble moves, steps back. The jumper rolls in, the friendly roll, and the crowd goes wild here in Alumni Gym. Jaquay Wales puts the moves on his defender and rattles it home. Donnie Miller for the Eagles. Guarded by Omer. Runs into a defender and draws the foul on Wales. Wales is not happy about that one. There's no doubt that the Tigers have been doing a great job playing defense without fouling. And Jaquay having a friendly conversation with the referee about what he can do to not foul. He thought he was straight up. Friendly conversation, but it's all good. Drew Lamont checks into the game as well as Seth Johnson. And Donnie Miller misses the free throw. Rebounded by Jones. And here comes the fancy dribbling moves again. From Jaquay Wales. Dishes it to the corner. Johnson turns it over. Good defense by Nick Keaton being in the right, being in the right place at the right time. Rico Tate with some fancy moves of his own. Back out to Miller for the three and no good. Rebounded by the Eagles. And Nick Keaton puts it in for the deuce. Here comes Jaquay Wales. Screened by Omer. Screened by Jones. Dished back to Jones, working inside. Back out to Johnson for the corner three, and it's good. Great find in the corner by Jones for the three-pointer. Seth Johnson's got a beautiful stroke. Donnie Miller working on Omer, driving. Lays it up, and it's good. And one for Donnie Miller. The Eagles not going away offensively despite the tough defense from the Tigers. And with just two minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the first half, the Tigers up 10, but the Eagles looking to cut into that lead. Donnie Miller looks to finish the and one play, and he does. Tigers up nine. 
to Quay Wales. Brings it down the floor. And foul. Foul on number 14, Donovan Morris. And Jaquay Wales will shoot one free throw with a chance for a second. Wales knocks down the free throw. Jabrion spikes into the game and some good minutes from Chad Omer. Jaquay Wales at the line, two for two. Rico Tate bringing it up the floor to Keaton. Keaton goes for the floater and just short. And it's going to be Eagles ball off the hands of Jones. Rico Tate for the inbound pass. And Donnie Miller gets blocked by Kyron Jones. Sends it right back and here comes Seth Johnson with a head of steam on the layup. It's good. Another great assist by Kyron Jones to Seth Johnson. That connection working well here in the first half. The Eagles, and that three-pointer was way off the mark from Donovan Morris. The Tigers fans letting him hear it. Jaquay Wales brings it up the floor. Working on Donnie Miller. Showing off that fancy footwork and dribble move. Steps back for the three. This time it's good. And he wanted an and one on that three-pointer. Jaquay Wales flat out getting it done from beyond the arc. The Tigers are rolling. Here comes Midway. Donnie Miller. Excuse me, had to sneeze. And the turnover, here comes Jabrion Spikes with a head of steam, he's gonna lay it in and it's good. You cannot blink when you are playing against this Georgetown Tigers. They are a fast group and a poised group as a whole. Just a great first half defensively and offensively for the Tigers. Rico Tate dribbling out the clock. They're gonna take the final shot. Just five seconds remaining. Tate lays it up and... They're gonna call a foul on number four. J. Brown Spikes. Two free throws coming up for Donnie Miller. And the first one is good. Donnie Miller so far leading the Eagles in points and assists. Here comes Jaquay Wales with a head of steam. And he wants a foul. And he's on the floor agonizing in pain. He wanted a foul. And rightfully so, grabbing the groin area he does not look like he's having, he looks like he's in pain.
The referees talking it over. Another injury for the Tigers, Jaquay Wales limping on that right leg. And Drew Lamont is gonna shoot some free throws. Drew Lamont at the line, the senior with the friendly roll. Free throw number two, so they called a flagrant foul. And Lamont knocks them both down. Point four seconds on the clock. And it's gonna be midway ball. And it was a technical foul against number 14, Donovan Morris from the Eagles. And the Tigers are gonna have just under half a second to put a shot up and work some magic. <laughs> Throws it to Drew and he did not get that shot off. Regardless of the the antics there at the end of the half. Really a great half of basketball for the Tigers. Defensively, offensively, you name it. Getting it done. And I'll be right back with more Mid-South Conference basketball.
Hello and welcome back to Davis Reed Alumni Gym. This is LC Newton with your halftime report. Real quick, the leading scores for the Georgetown Tigers, led by Drew Lamont with 12 points, Jaquay Wales with 12 points, and Seth Johnson with nine points. Off the bench, Rashad Bishop has four, and Tommy Thomas has four as well. But Kyron Jones, only two points, but six rebounds and two assists. Those six rebounds are going to put him over the 900 rebound mark on the career for Kyron Jones. An amazing career for him so far. Kyron Jones, an unbelievable talent, no doubt. Only a junior, and he is sure to pass up that 1,000 rebound mark at this rate. For the Eagles of Midway, they are led by Donnie Miller with 12 points. And he's been a fisher from the field, four for, of 10. But only he has not made any of his four attempts from three-point range. However, off the bench, bench, Deshaun White, eight points and two of three from a three-point range in only eight minutes. So the Eagles with a little spark off the bench from Deshaun White. The Eagles as a whole are not shooting well from three-point range, however, only two of 11 from three. So Deshaun White is the only one that is successful from three-point range in the first half for the Eagles. The Tigers, however, flat out getting it done, shooting 50% from three-point range, four of eight from behind the arc. And from the free throw line, they are getting it done as well. 92.3% from the line. That is an efficient, that is just about as efficient as it gets. 12 of 13, they're getting to the foul line and knocking down those free throws. The Eagles, however, not so much. Only four of six from the line and 66.7%. And we are one minute away from the second half of Mid-South Conference basketball here in Alumni Gym. This crowd is ready to see some monster dunks and defensive pressure. As Metallica blares on this Thursday night. And it's a little toasty here in Alumni Gym as well. If I'm sweating up here, I know these players are working up a good sweat as well. Jaquay Wales leading the way for assists, leading this Georgetown Tigers team. We'll see if he's good to go for the second half. And Jones inbounds to Spikes, and we are underway here in the second half of basketball. Jones working on the post, jab stepping. Here comes Johnson driving back to Lamont and picked off and kept in play. Well done by Rico Tate. And here comes a turnover. Tommy Thomas picks it up, flings it out to Seth Johnson. Back to Spikes. He's got an open three, takes it, and too strong. And a heads up play by Tommy Thomas. Gets the steal and the easy lay-in. There's that hustle we talked about earlier. Tommy Thomas, such a key element to this Georgetown team. Never giving up on the play. Elite hustle and effort on both ends of the floor from Thomas. Good contest there, but a made shot by Rico Tate. There's a good jumper. Spikes brings it up the floor. 
orchestrating the offense. Not as much movement so far here in the second half on offense for the Tigers. Seth Johnson with the reverse lay in and out. Tough miss. Diving for the rebound is Will Van Hook. Great effort on the loose ball for Van Hook. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession goes to the Tigers. Sorry, possession goes to Midway. Great heads up play by Van Hook. Van Hook will take it up the floor. Addition to Donnie. Rico Tate driving, turns. And in and out, hangs off the rim and picked up by Tommy Thomas. Leading the charge for the Tigers. Crossing over. And picked off by Donnie Miller for the layup. And it's good. Donnie Miller picking up right where he left off with 14 points. Here comes Spikes to Tommy Thomas, driving and no good on that shot. Seth Johnson has it. Back out to Thomas behind the three-point line and the stroke is good. Tommy Thomas strikes again from long range. And it's gonna be a jump ball. Georgetown wanting a travel on that one, but Possession Tigers nonetheless. Jones inbounds to Spikes. Spikes bringing it up the floor. Thomas pulls up for the jumper and just off the rim. Here comes Midway. Rico Tate to Donnie Miller. Behind the back, steps back for the deuce, and it's good. A solid move from Donnie Miller. He's got 16. Jay Brown spikes. Working. Feeds Lamont. Back to Jones, driving, gets the inside position and blocked, but they're gonna call a foul. Two shots for Jones at the stripe. Tiger shooting 92.3% at the line. Can't ask for much more from the free throw. Here's Jones. And it's good. Kyron Jones again crossing that 900 rebound milestone. An amazing career here at Georgetown College, only a junior. And the forward will surely cross the 1,000 rebound mark by the end of his career. Donnie Miller working on Drew Lamont and Spikes. Rico steps back, drives. Tate puts up a floater off the rim, and Johnson comes up with it. Feeds Jones, who feeds Thomas for the layup, the second chance effort, and he is just working hard out there. Foul on number four, Nick Keaton, the sophomore forward. He's got two. And Thomas is going to have two at the line. Missed the first. And the second free throw is good. 
Thomas is so good at those second chance points and hustle plays. Truly a valuable piece for this Georgetown team. The floater's no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up. That's no good. Battered around, and Seth Johnson rips it away. Spikes leading the charge. Nearly picked off. Johnson to the corner. It's Thomas in the corner for three. No good. Good rebound by Rico. Back to Donnie Miller. Driving, lays it up, and too strong. But the follow-up from Rico Tate. Here comes Spikes to Jones, slowing down the pace of the offense in no hurry. Jones crossing over in the post, pulls up for the mid-range shot and nothing but net, but it did not go in the hole. Rico Tate inbounds to Will Van Hook. And Tate takes it up the floor. Tate driving, working on Thomas. Defended well by Thomas and forces an air ball. Love the energy from this Tigers team here in the second half. Spikes taking it up the floor. Screened by Jones. Bouncing around, puts up the jumper, no good. Rebounded by Seth Johnson. And he has been all over the boards. It's gonna stay with the Tigers. The 6'3 guard, Seth Johnson, is known for boxing his defender out and getting those boards on both sides of the floor. Drew Lamont backing down his defender and puts in the, the hook shot. The senior taking his time in the post. Here comes Donnie Miller with the head of steam, pulls up for the jumper and no good. A little shy. Another rebound by Johnson. The reverse lay and it's good. Seth Johnson with the nifty move to the rim. Will Van Hook working on Lamont and offensive foul. Tobias Thompson was hit with his third foul. He's going to take a seat. And into the game comes Deshaun White, who put up some great minutes in the first half. Let's see if he can respond here in the second. Tigers with a much slower pace of offense here in the second half. Looking to control their lead and limit turnovers. Drew Lamont with the inside position and smokes the layup. That is uncharacteristic of him. And look at that, Tommy Thomas forcing the turnover. You love to see it the emphatic roar from Thomas. He has been all over the place today. Just an unreal amount of effort on both ends of the floor for Thomas. And it might not always show up in the stat sheet, but I promise you this team values him extremely. giving the Tigers some great minutes. Spikes to the corner. Seth Johnson finds an open look, and it's money. Johnson draining threes. The Eagles quickly down the floor. Firing from three-point range, no good. Rebound, Lamont. Through to Kyron Jones. Jones backing down his defender and lays it up and he's fouled. Free throws to come. T 
Timeout Midway. Midway has got five fouls already. And the Tigers with the commanding 62 to 38 lead. Their work in the first half has put them in a great position to win this game. And they are keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Stay tuned after the game. I'll have a chance to interview the head coach of the Tigers, Chris Briggs. Here comes two free throws for Jones. First one is good. Tigers looking to advance to 4 and 0 on the season. Second free throw is good. Jones perfect from the line on that trip. Will Van Hook takes it up the floor for the Eagles. Working through the offense. Deshaun White spinning, pulls up for the jumper and no good. Rebounded by Tommy Thomas. Not surprised. Thomas taking it up the floor, penetrating, dishes it inside to Jones and out of bounds, off the hands of Jones. Every team needs that glue guy, and Thomas has surely found his role on this squad. Will Van Hook backing down his defender, dishes out to Ridge Hall for the jumper, and Ridge Hall knocks it down for the Eagles. Johnson bringing it up the floor. Number one in orange has had a great night so far. Finds spikes open in the corner and passes up the jumper. Johnson to Lamont, down low, spinning and lays it up for the foul. Tigers are finding all kinds of ways to get to the line. And if you're the Eagles, you have to find a way to play defense without fouling. Making your opponent earn your points on the free throw line is one thing, but the Tigers today have been knocking down free throws left and right. Oh, it's not going to be a shooting foul. They're going to pass it in. Tigers up 24 points with just under 12 minutes to go. Spikes. To the inside, it's Lamont. And a little strong on the hook shot, but rebounded by Jones, puts it up, and it's good. Jones. And Donnie Miller with the head of steam, he has an open layup, and it's good. The Eagles playing with a much faster pace of offense right now due to the scoreboard. Jones. To Spikes. Spikes pulls for three and a little short. Good rebound by the Eagles. Rico Tate driving up the floor, working on Thomas. Donnie Miller slowing down the pace, setting up the offense. 
Driving and blocked by Thomas. What an unbelievable game by him. And offensive foul. Spikes meant no harm, but caught him with an elbow. Jabrion's got two. And another timeout on the floor. Looks like Rashad Bishop's going to get into the game as well when we get back. here in Davis Reed Alumni Gym. Tigers fans show it out tonight to support their basketball team. Back with more Mid South Conference basketball. Rashad Bishop into the game. Rico Tate takes it up the floor. Working on Thomas, who's played relentless defense all night. Tate stumbles. The floater is way short. The no look pass to Tate, and Tate reverses for the reverse layup. And now the Eagles are with a little press of their own. Foul called on Rico Tate. And Bishop's going to have two from the stripe. It seems like this must be some sort of record for the amount of free throws this Tigers team has shot tonight. Too strong for Bishop. Eagles with a head of steam. And there is a double dribble. The turnovers are piling up for the Eagles. And the Tigers are taking advantage of it. Thomas to inbound. Spikes taking his time, setting up the flow of the offense. To Johnson. To Rashad off the glass and a little strong, but a follow up by Spikes and he lays it in. Spikes is so strong and has an amazing jumping ability for a player of his stature. Donnie Rico, and the jumper is good for Krayshawn Brown. Johnson and Spikes playing a little hot potato, getting past the press. Rashad Bishop, and foul away from the ball. It's going to be on... It's going to be on the Eagles. Rayshon Brown with the foul. He's got two. Little hip check. Going to send spikes to the line. And here we go with more free throws. Spikes is good for the first one.
And Spikes goes two for two at the line. Donnie Miller. The Eagles swinging it around the top of the key. Miller driving, lays it up, and it's good. Here comes Spikes. Screen by Jones. Avoids the double team. And Johnson's open in the corner. A little strong, rebounded by Bishop, who puts it right back up for two. His 6'7 stature, along with his jumping ability, allows him to be so efficient there underneath the basket. And a lot of times above the basket, too. Freshon Brown bricks the three-pointer. Spikes to Johnson. Back to Bishop, working in the post. Jab step. Backing down his defender just short, just short of the floater. Deshaun White working on spikes. Feeds Ridge Hall. Back to Tate. And Thomas pokes it free. Nearly turned over. The Eagles look rattled on offense. Not able to get a lot going. And here comes Miller with the floater. The, it's going to be a foul. Fake the floater. Went up and under for the layup. Just short, but he's going to go to the line. Bishop's got two, and the Tigers have two here in the second half. Donnie Miller goes to the line. Misses the first, and here comes some substitutions. Tate goes to the floor, and in comes Jared Courtney, the freshman guard from Frankfort, Kentucky. along with Nick Keaton back into the game. Spikes takes up the floor. And his speed is just unreal. Gets inside, but they're going to call jump ball. And the Eagles have possession. Here come the Eagles. Down 72-49. Miller working on spikes, pulls up for three and no good. Good rebound by Keaton, though. Puts up the hook, and that's also no good. Finally rebounded by Jones, and here comes the Tigers. Spikes behind the back, and the soft lay off the glass for the two. Great move by Spikes. Freshon Brown fires to the corner, and he stepped out of bounds. Thomas to Spikes. Spikes to Lamont. Back to Thomas. He's open for three and a little too strong. Here comes Keaton. Defensive pressure. He's got three guys on him. Donnie Miller driving. Kicks it out. Fumbled and... Foul called on Tommy Thomas. Thomas poked it free, but they're going to call him for a reach in.
Courtney to, re to inbound. Gets it to Keaton. Back to Miller. Miller driving, lays it up, and they're going to call a foul on the floor. Spikes has three. Donnie Miller at the top of the key. Facing out the floor. Didn't want the screen. Takes the floater and air balls the wide open floater. Miller's had a solid game offensively, but not a great shot attempt there. Spikes to Lamont. Lamont fires from three, a little strong, rebounded by Bishop. Great offensive board, kicks it out to Thomas in the corner, jab step, spins, puts up the two and way strong on that as well. Johnson fighting for the rebound, the Tigers not giving up. Johnson dives, saves it, throws it off the glass. Great effort by the Tigers. And in comes number 12, Chad Omer, and another timeout. We'll be right back after this short intermission. And we're back with just five and a half minutes remaining. Tigers up big against Midway. Miller with the and one. The Tigers fans reminding the Eagles of the score. Here comes Miller with a chance for the three-point play. And he's got it. Spikes to Omer. Omer back to Spikes. Back to Omer again. Omer driving, pulls up for two, and no good on that one. Here comes Miller. Miller driving, fires to the key. No good on the three-point shot, and foul on Seth Johnson. Johnson's got two. Donnie in the corner and not quite. Johnson with a head of steam. Driving and dives for the ball, turns it over. And here come the Eagles behind the back. Oh my gosh, some nifty moves, but nearly loses it. It's going to be a jump ball.
Tigers ball. Spikes walks it up the floor. Screen by Johnson. Spikes navigating. Kicks to Omer. Omer. To Johnson. Back to Spikes. Back to Johnson. And poked away. Turnover. And Miller nearly turns it over, and he does. Here comes Johnson. Oh, and he's fouled. Johnson had Bishop down low with a two-on-one. That was surely going to be a highlight. And here comes Johnson from the line. Just over four minutes to play. And an uncharacteristic miss from Johnson at the line. Jared Courtney, back to Donnie. Donnie Miller driving, Courtney dishes it. And the layup is good from Ridge Hall. Midway trading baskets with the Tigers, but it's a little too late. Donnie Miller driving with a head of steam, lays it up, and it's good. Donnie Miller racking up his points. Omer to Spikes, avoiding the pressure. Screen by Spikes. The lob, and broken up by the Eagles. And Eagles fire from, from three, and it's no good. Spikes, here comes the lob. Oh, my goodness, nearly a poster. My, oh, my. Rashad Bishop got up on that one. And Omer wanted the lob. Anticipation. This crowd was eager for a huge slam. Bishop is always ready for a highlight. Missed three by Brent Brower. Brent Brower getting his first few minutes of the game. Spikes. Foul. An offensive foul on Spikes. Sorry, offensive foul on Rashad Bishop. It's going to be an, an illegal screen. Jared Courtney. And here comes the three-pointer, and it's good. Treshawn Brown drills the three. Spikes taking his time, orchestrating the offense. A much slower pace here in the second half now that they've Gained a big lead. Bishop turns around for the fader and rebounded by Johnson. Pump faking, drawing contact, and it's going to send him to the line. Cam Brooks Harris. Giving a little word of advice to Spikes from the sideline. Here comes Johnson at the line, and it's good for the first. And Johnson goes two for two. Just a minute and 30 remaining in this game. Tigers have dominated all aspects on the floor tonight.
The turnaround jumper's no good. Spikes walking it up the floor, milking the clock away. Screen from Lamont. Spikes lays it up. Great drive by Spikes. Aiden Neekin working on the Tigers. And too strong in the layup, rebounded by Lamont. Johnson's open in the corner. Let's see what happens. Screened by Johnson. Lamont. Backing down his defender, pulls up for two and just short. And the steal and the huge slam. Rashad Bishop throws it down. And Alumni Gym has been waiting for another big dunk like that. The floater's no good from Jared Courtney. And the Tigers are going to walk away with a huge victory against the Eagles. 80 to 59. Total domination from Georgetown. And a heads up play by Chad Homer to create the steal and the dime to Rashad Bishop for the big slam. And Tigers fans, don't leave just yet. Here comes the exclusive interview here shortly from Chris Briggs. We'll get a chance to interview him a little bit and hear his thoughts about the game against the Eagles. We'll be right back with Chris Briggs.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Chris Briggs. And Chris, what do you think about Tommy Thomas and his effort on both ends of the floor tonight? Tommy's just a, lo a lot of energy coming off the bench. You know, he's still trying to figure things out, trying to trying to learn our style, our system. But he just plays so hard and and brings so much energy. Um, you know, especially on the de defensive end, he's active and and uh, you know sometimes can get out of position diving and gambling for steals. But obviously, you see sometimes it works out too. And and uh, you know, really good in transition and. Uh, he's going to keep getting better and better as we go, you know, offensively especially. His hustle and effort is always impressive to me. And mm -hmm. uh, he's really uh, becoming a tremendous player. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. He's really really coming along, and it, this was a good one for him to, to get plenty of minutes. And, and uh, you know, I don't know how many he got. He probably surely was over 20. Uh, where is it here? I don't even see. 21 minutes, yeah, so. Just a good game for him to get plenty of minutes and plenty of experience, you know, game, game experience, especially going into conference play next week. Mm -hmm. Got a couple guys banged up early in this right. one. You don't love to see that. Hopefully they'll be good to go here soon. Yeah, you know, they'll, they'll hopefully be okay. Cam rolled an ankle and Quay with a little groin or hamstring or something, so hopefully he's okay. And, you know, already had Tay Dozier banged up and Drew's kind of been, you know, banged up a little bit. So, you know, just – too early in the season for that. We kind of, you know, probably ha we haven't exactly practiced like we normally would this week, just trying to get guys back healthy for next week. So hopefully everybody will uh, take, you know, this weekend right here and heal up real good and then, and then get ready for uh, conference play next week. And Jaquay, before he went down with a tremendous first half, um, a lot of fancy footwork and dribbling right. got the crowd pretty excited. Right, yeah, and, and we've been telling him, you know, he needs to shoot more. I've been telling that since he got here, you know, a few years ago. And, and uh, you know, he, he got going and, you know, I think, uh, you know, with their other guy, uh, Miller, trying to put up as many points as he possibly can. And I think, he, you know, Quay was like, you know, just going to let him know this is Georgetown. Doesn't work that way. And, and uh, you know, he, he kind of got going a little bit. So, shame to see him, uh, you know, get hurt when he was was playing so well, obviously with 12 points in and, and the first half and three for three, you know, from the, from the floor. So, was uh, was really, really playing well and sparked us right there. So, uh, you know, shame to see him go down like that. You have to be pleased with the defensive effort from your team tonight. For and sure. you guys were swarming on the floor and just clogging holes. The full court press was, had them really scrambled. Right, for sure. Just, you know, didn't want to lay back. And, you know, with us a little shorthanded, just wanted to still be aggressive and, and uh, you know, pressure them and try to try to speed them up and force them into make some turnovers or some bad shots. And, and uh, had some breakdowns, obviously, but, but did some really good things as well. So. And lastly, what do you want to see more from your team? What is the main area for improvement going forward? Um, I think probably just once we get everybody back, just offensive cohesiveness, especially with that second unit with Jay Brown Spikes still learning on the fly at the point guard position and, and uh, just flowing offensively um, with, the, with the guys that are coming in off the bench. Um, you know, our first five gets, gets pretty good flow with Kyron and, and Drew and Jaquay and Seth and, and Cam, those guys that have been here, and, and uh, they get really good flow. And I think as as those guys get more comfortable, the guys coming off the bench, they'll, they'll uh, get a little more offensive flow and rhythm and, uh, and get more comfortable. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Coach. I appreciate you Perfect. taking your time, spending some time a little uh, yeah. for the interview. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys. Yep, absolutely. Good night, everybody, and uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow for another game. This has been L.C. Newton on the commentation, and we'll see you next time here at Alumni Gym.